Okay, so for this part of the question, we were given the equation here for n in terms of t, and we previously worked out the rate of growth dn by dt equaling n times 300 minus n all over 1200. And now we're told that that rate of growth dn by dt is a maximum when t equals big T here after t months. So we've got to find out what the value of t is. And with this question, it's very tempting to put dm by dt, that rate of growth, equal to 0 and solve for n. Don't go down that avenue because it's not dm by dt that equals 0. Okay, That would only apply if we were told that n was a maximum after t months. That's when we would write dn by dt equaling 0. No, we're being asked to, to find that value of t when dn by dt is a maximum. So we could take this equation here and differentiate it again, put it equal to 0 and solve for n then, and then substitute that value back into here and work out the value of t from there. But it's much simpler than that. If we look at that fraction, n times 300 minus n all over 1200, it's going to be a maximum when the top of the fraction, the numerator, is a maximum. Because you're just dividing it by a constant here, so it's not going to change the fact that uh, it's going to vary. So we're just looking for the top here then to be a maximum. And we've got a negative quadratic here if you were to expand this. And if you were to look at the sketch here of a negative quadratic like this, it would cross the n-axis when n is 0 or 300. And because it's meant to be a symmetrical graph here, then this maximum point here will occur halfway between 0 and 300, clearly at 150. And so when you look at this, you wouldn't necessarily write, need to write this down. This is what I'd be thinking when I see this fraction, that clearly that maximum is going to be occurring when n equals 150. So you could just state that. Saves you having to differentiate this again and put it equal to 0 and solve for n. It will turn out to be 150, though, if you do do it. Check it out, if you like. So we're going to use that fact, then, that dn by dt, that rate of growth, is a max when n equals 150. So it's just a question, then, of substituting 150 into this equation here. So if I do that, I'll call that equation 1 and substitute t equals capital T here and n equals 150 into 1, then what I'm going to get is this result here. And so if I now cancel both sides, let's just do that, by 150, that's going to go once and that's going to go in there six times. And so what I could do now is multiply both sides by the denominator here. And doing that would lead me to this result. And what I'll do next is subtract 3 from both sides. That will leave me with 7e e to the minus 0.25t equals 3. And then divide by 7. And I'm left with this result. At this point, all I need to do now is take natural logs to both sides. And that's going to lead to this result here. And we've got minus a quarter t. So I could actually multiply both sides here by negative 4 to leave me with t the subject. Doing that, I end up with this exact result. And you could leave it like that if you like. Or you could just put this through your calculator. And if you put it through your calculator, you're going to get 
t equaling 3.389 and so on, which I've rounded to one decimal place, which is going to be 3.4. And remember, we're dealing with months here. OK, so I hope it's given you an insight then on how to do that question if it caused any problems.